Steve again. Uh, got another video for you all. Uh, we got a 44 ton um, loaded uh, refrigerated uh, unit and trailer. He's carrying milk. Um, we've got a gearbox full with it. We're taking it, uh, the trailer anyway, back to the depot to be unloaded. And the unit's going on to a garage. Um, so we're on the M40 now. Fairly near to Banbury. So we're just going to get this loaded up and uh, get him on, get him out of here. Oh yeah, let's put some cones up just behind. We've got a DAF CF this one. So I, I, I drive an XF myself with a bigger cab, but this is a, a CF one. Quite an ideal sort of size for a cab we work really, the CFs. They're not very high for getting into places with branches. Don't look maybe as nice as the bigger cabs, but for room wise, but make, make quite a good recovery truck. Right, so we've got the handbrake on. So we're just pulling out underneath the front axle. Hopefully you better hear me until the fridge cuts in a little bit. I might have to shout a little bit more. Let's get the oil stands ready before we lift. Just cut in now. That's what that noise is. Just put a few cones out behind us, give us a little bit more cover. That's the pre lift done. and get some lifting forks and some chains. just where it widens out The idea is really if we can pick it up on about there, that should stop it sliding. Pretty much spot on actually. There we go. Let's get out of the way while we uh, lift her up. He yeah, said it's loaded, but I don't think it's fully loaded because that middle axles up normally when they're fully loaded that axle won't lift so maybe it's not fully loaded right okay just some chain it on now so yeah, the idea 
idea of these chains is to keep it inside the fork and to stop any sliding. But if it does slide a bit, it's not gonna go too far till the chain tightens up. the other side sump any movement there all right put that over here for a sec so you're getting your knees wet all right I'll take the stands away so we won't need them anymore now we're not going to get underneath The remote's always isolated when you're away from it. Right. The next thing we do, we drop it down and we'll put an airline into the tractor unit. I've left me half shaft cold, which I've got out already. So we're removing the half shaft and putting a cover in, that'll stop any uh, oil leaking. So these staffs, the XF and the CF, <coughs> these little test points here, which are handy, safely so rummaging around the sides of the vehicles. So the new Iveco um, tractor units have got them here as well. Leaking. I'll just gently put that down here. That's it, and close the hood. Right, let that build up for a little bit. So at the moment, we're supplying air to the tractor unit and keeping the red Susie line on, that will just flow it straight through to the trailer. So at the moment, we're supplying air to the unit and the trailer. So we're gonna get some blue gloves on and get the aft shaft out. So I've already got the aft shaft cover, which the chap just reminded me is on the wheel. Yeah, 24 mil half shaft bolts. So the diff locks uh, on the off sides, the dafts. So we'll be pulling the near side. So 24 mil. Three quarter gun, old tray, and some uh, blue roll as well. Cheers for that. There you go. Right, here we go. 
This is the half shaft cover I put earlier. Place for the bolts so we don't lose them. underneath that's the R sharp cover probably siliconed a bit but let's see if we can give it a pull no nope. need a bit of leaving off that's where the R sharp cover's gonna go let's get a bit of rag hopefully with a claw hammer we'll be able to just get behind it and uh, save hitting it just uh, pull it out it hasn't got too much silicon on it. There we go. There we go. Tidy up the power shaft. Let the oil go there. Alright. There we go. Pop this away. Not too much oil comes out of there. There's a little bit of silicon where it's been uh, refitted, it's been off before. on just gonna pop a few bolts in here keep the cover tight so stop any oil leaks it's a little bit better than a bit of blue roll if you have got cover No, no, we only need three in there. It's just the cover I put on. Okay. Yeah, it's, ju it's just the cover to stop it leaking oil. Okay, does, does it pick up or no, this one? This tire, this tire pick up or no? No, no, no. That, that's... This, air cut. this is, this is done? Yeah, we can, if, if we can drop this, um, this middle gone. axle down, yeah. yeah. But normally if you're fully loaded, yeah. this wouldn't lift. So you're obviously not fully loaded, yeah, but down, yeah. yeah, we can drop that down in. I take you out of my bag out. Yeah, you can take your bag out the other end. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Unless you want to take it out now, if he's got your phone in, it's up to you. Yeah, it's up to you. I'll drop it down a bit for you. I'll drop it down for you. One second. You tell me that wheel is down, yeah? That bottom middle back. Yeah, we, we drop that down. We can drop that down. It makes it a little bit more stable, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Drop the axle down. It don't hurt. Yeah, it's down, it's down, all right, yeah. Yeah, that's what he's a bit worried about, but you say, if the trailer would have been fully loaded, the axle wouldn't have lifted anyway, but it makes it a little bit more stable, having that axle down. Yeah, he's a little bit worried about the cover, three bolts, we thought it might come off, but it's only a cover we got, I'll put on there. All right, okay. Yeah, that's all right, no rush, come out this side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bless him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn it off, yeah. Yeah, like, windows up. Yeah. Windows up if you want, just in case we get a bit of... Yeah, engine off. Take the handbrake off slowly, though. And the key out, the ignition. That's it, key out, yeah. Handbrake off slowly. Very slowly, because of what you do, it might rise up a little bit. Very slowly. That's it, all the way. All the way, nice and slowly. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. 
as the trailer brakes coming off. Okay, yeah, that's it. Come out this way. Here we go. Just rose at the end. There we go. That's it. Yeah, okay. Put him in there. No problem. Yeah. Okay, come out this way. You're safer. On the side pocket. Yeah, as long as you've left them in there. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 62. Uh, take your time. You're safer coming out this way if you can. I'll drop that down a little bit for him. Then the next we got to do, we got to put some uh, things. He's turned the hazard lights on. I put electrical Susie in. Then we've got a couple of airlines to the trailer now. That's it. Take your time. No rush. Take your time. There we go. Yeah, is it? A... Yeah, it's closed. Yeah, it's closed. It's all right. Okay, right. That's it. Put your bag in the truck if you want. No problem. Right, we're bringing her in now. Get it all set up, right? Because if once we put the yellow Susie in, obviously that break the trailer. So we won't be able to move the unit back and forth. So make sure she's rolling all right. Yeah, we've got it as a gearbox uh, knocking. Just want to make sure that is, is that. So basically, I imagine it probably come right in actually on these CFs. There's not much uh, front nose. No, that's fine. Right. So I've still got me cones out, so let's get electrical uh, Susie. Just gonna connect into there. So I'll get some lights on there now. <clears throat> That's it. All right. Okay, looks like we've got side lights on there. Going to get me uh, another play. Okay. And corn, corn, and corn. Yeah, that's fine. I'll sort all that out. Hop in if you want. No problem. Well, that's a, the fuel tank to keep the fridge going. We've got tail lift on the back. So putting our number plate on. Have a look at that. There we go, we're all working, all right. There we go. <coughs> Quick look down the side, making sure everything's all right. Right, probably tie that up somewhere around there once we get the Susie lines. All right, we'll do the yellow Susie next, which will be uh, the airline that will break the trailer. Yeah, we've got about an hour and a half run to London from here. Right. This is yellow Susie, so there won't be no air in that because the handbrake's off. Tidy this up a little bit. Does it work? No, it's cut been seized. Pop that down there out of the way. Right, okay. Right, round we 
Venga, vea. There we go, that's the trailer brake now. Now we need to supply air to the trailer, which we are doing at the moment through the unit. But we've got to run it separate now. So the red lines, in case we have any uh, unfortunate accidents en route. And if it comes detached, this red Susie will break and the trailers breaks will come on that stops any roll and runaways well, that's the idea of putting this in there there we go pop them down here out of the way Yeah, I've got some ties, thank you. That's it. There we go. That's great, thank you. There we go. Yeah, that, that's fine. I mean, just do that little, tie, little tidy up around here. It's a little bit longer. That's it. Make it a bit neater. There we go. Probably a little bit more actually. Let's give it a little bit more. I'm not quite sure the entrance to their uh, depot. Let's move it a little bit more. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Right, we've got enough there. There we go. That's all right. Is that grease off them Susie lines there? There we go. Right, so we've got two air lines in. We've got Air Susie here. We move the half shaft. The cover's on there. looks good right that'll do us for now i think just gonna tidy the cones up and uh, might do a little bit of um driving into well into well not actually into his depot because i won't be able to film there but maybe the the road up there and uh, just show you a little bit of london with it on the back but anyway thanks for now we're all loaded in the cab we're just gonna find out how much weight he has got on the trailer okay I started quite well in second. Yeah, he's got a bit of weight, not too bad. Getting a bit of speed up on the hard shoulder now before we commit. So we've got all the beacons on for now. We're building up speed. Between the wheels, There's a bit of metal there. Right, here we are up to about 40. We've got quite a clear road behind us. There we go. Yeah, he's pulling quite well up to 45. There we go. Maybe up to 50. 
see that will do us. Right, we don't need to run with the beacons now. They're all off. I'll probably do a little bit more filming when we get towards London, as I said. But thanks very much for watching first for now. And yeah, we're just coming into uh, London now on the A40. So we've just past Hangar Lane and uh, looks like we've got plenty of roadworks happening along this stretch. I imagine this will be fun in uh, in the rush hour. God knows what they're doing here. Looks like I've got a couple of recovery trucks on standby to me left. If anybody breaks down, I imagine it'd be absolute chaos if somebody breaks down in one of these lanes, but. So it's such a busy road coming into London. The wreck again, you boy. Right. <laughs> yeah. Bus is bus, yeah, he's broke down somewhere of the bus, taking it somewhere. Yeah, I don't know how long this is going to last. You, these road works, is it new? New, yeah. Yeah, I. I so I was up here a couple of weeks ago and I uh, didn't see any roadworks. Free recovery, weight rescue, yeah, Christ. I not much choice here, but nowhere to go. Flashing lights, it gives a little bit more cover, yeah. Yeah, two lanes right, got you, thank you. Yeah, we're turning right. Uh, this is uh, the route the driver normally comes back to his depot, so we've uh, a bit of local knowledge, so we're under his instructions which way he thinks best to go back. It'll take us a nice, easy route. Through yeah. London. But you are named Steve, yeah? Steve, yeah. yeah very good. <laughs> yeah. And again, sharp right. Sh sharp right when we. And again, this right. Yeah. And again, little bit of 50 the yard. And belt the other building side is sharp right. Damn right, guy, okay, lovely. Okay, right. right. I'll keep the camera on little, for a little, little bit, bit then, the, yeah. Little bit this side. Then. And then, yeah, I understand. You're a little bit tight. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Yeah, it's handy having somebody that regularly does a route and uh, can advise you really before you get there with something this size. So he's been driving this truck on this route for 20 years, so he's quite familiar with the, the road layout, so it makes our job a little bit easier. A bit of local knowledge from the drivers. So we struggled both lanes round here. There we go. You know? Yeah, I see round again. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I'm with you. A little bit of my side covering. Got you. Yes. Covering my side. Yeah. Easy. I understand. Thank you. Yeah. Just watch, nobody's coming up oh, the oh, inside. Oh, yeah. That's it. Here we go, they'll wait for us a bit. Here we go. Plenty of room around here. Yeah, yeah, room here. Yeah, and round to the left, yeah. That's it. Roundabout state. Straight again, yeah. Yeah, I've never been this way to your depot, so it's a bit. Right. So it's good, to, good, good to learn another way in. Three, four, three minutes. Three minutes, yeah. Oh, that's
They don't give you a lot of room, do they? He's actually in a parking bay where he's parked, and he? So you can't blame him for parking there. You're allowed to, but not a lot of room, is it? My company loading coming. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is it one of your dr fellow drivers, is it? Yeah, so he uses this route through here as well then? Yeah, yeah. he not recommend me. It's my company before 20 lorries, 20, 30 lorries. Yeah. Are now 5 lorries, 25 lorries is the Hulliers. Oh, okay. Oh, Hulliers. Yeah, Hulliers, yeah, Hulliers, yeah. But I am a 4 5 driver. Yeah. Have. Oh, okay. State. speed ramps on this road a 20 mile an hour limit like a lot of roads in London are now this long but is left it's around to the left okay oh follow this car yeah no problem look at him <laughs> that's a funny little thing and he funny he shot around there didn't he Shot around there. Look how narrow it is. You think it'd tip over, wouldn't you? Yeah. Push, <laughs> push him up. <laughs> Otherwise, little kick. Yeah. I go to the same point. Yeah, around. God. God, I've never seen one of them before. Oh my God. <laughs> Like turn right. Turn right the traffic lights. Okay. Two big rooms over here. I see, yeah, got both lanes we can use up, right. Little bit of left. Both lane covering is turn right. Yeah, I understand what you mean, yeah, no problem. Right. Look at that, that's, that's good that is, isn't it? Look at that, I like that. I, what is, what we the, deliver parcels, it says here. Yeah, How's my what riding? Do you know, my yeah. Fan, fan, fan. Yeah, I don't know if he's got a steering wheel or some uh, which or, like handlebars on that. This one, which company? Uh, this small one. Oh, there, yeah. Yeah, Finn Mile. Fan, fan, yeah. Oh, he's gone now. We've lost him now. All right. Might move back a little bit if we get a bit near. <laughs> he's a brave man, he's holding his ground. This black car is uh, out, they turn left. Turn left there. Oh, they, uh, the scooter, white van. Yeah, what turn. white van, turn left, lovely. And, and, and yeah, I know where we are. I've always come from the other way now. That's that's good to know that route. Another route is you know, got yeah, to yeah, yeah. Little bit of turn right and go and yeah, see. Yeah. Right, a little bit yeah, thank you. Yeah, push, 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 push. Are you going to wait for us? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. coming. Got the driver is already stopped. Push, 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 push. Yeah, they, nobody ever lets you go, do they? Right, there we go. We're just driving up to the gentleman's uh, depot around yeah, the bend. Perfect, right, perfect. and that probably do us for now. Yeah, go straight. And I'll continue the film when uh, maybe when we come out. All right, that's the trailer dropped off at the company depot. Um, so I managed to reverse it into a holding bay for them, which wasn't too bad. I had quite a little bit of room to. Uh, get a nice straight pull I and mean, it was a straightforward reverse back so they left it parked up for them now 
I say we just take the unit back to uh, the garage in Feltham now. So I just put my trailer board on the back now and it's, it's all disconnected from the trailer. So uh, this is the, so that's the worst bit of the job really, getting the trailer off. But you say it went all right, the job. So I'll probably just do a little bit of filming maybe um, just when I get to the garage as a final bit to the story. But thanks very much for watching the channel as always and subscribing. And uh, yeah, catch you in a bit when we drop it off. Right, we're at the garage now. So the trailer's been taken off at, in London, the company depot. And so we're just waiting for uh, one of the chaps to come out and drive the vehicle in. I'm just gonna unload it in the meantime. Just going round into that unit there. So this is a moat trailer board we put back on again. Once the trailer's off the back. Yeah, it seems to be a gearbox fault with this. So uh, it will move a little bit into uh, the garage. And so we're just going to drop it off now. So refit the half shaft for them to drive it in. So I won't actually seal the half shaft, revise them that we're not really sealing it. We're just refitting the half shaft and talking it up so it's tight. It's a DAF CF480 this model was so a smaller cab than the XF that I've got but a good workhorse you say for recovery work they're not not too bad to get in and out of places they're not and got the height like the XF cab has but anyway thanks very much for watching as always subscribe to the channel so we're just gonna get this unloaded and uh, on to the next one Thanks very much, till next time.